Hello. Testing. Okay, the mic is working. I haven't streamed in a while. Hello. <laughs> How are you doing, Cage? <laughs> All right. So uh, I'm going to uh, load the game up here. Oh, wait a minute. <laughs> Could never, well, not never, but VR theater screen. This the dashboard will auto hide and launch a the theater screen. Show me launch a non VR app. Clicking the cloak. What? I don't want a VR theater screen. I guess it's because I'm currently have my VR running. Let me just close that down. Uh oh. Oh, there we go. Oh, it just got quieter because the music ended. All right. Okay, starting the game. Oh, Windows Defender has blocked some. Allow access. All right, game. Uh, go into a park. All right. I was playing some music a moment ago. Press any key to start. Unique geese. All right. Oh, there we go. Oh, it was because I. Clicked on OBS, so it automatically paused the game. Also, this is way too loud in my ears. Hold on a moment. Oh, god damn it! I can't. <laughs> I can't adjust the volume. <laughs> there we go. Hopefully that will. All right, that seems a little bit better. Also, I just noticed a creepy bird lady. Um, uh, all right, let's see the, uh, controls here. Video, borderless window, brightness, unlock FPS, uh, I'll probably be okay, but I may have to change that later if it's fucking up my thing. Controller type, Xbox. On a keyboard control. Oh, keyboard bindings. There we go. All right. Spacebar. Shift for sprint. Flashlight. E for internet. All right. And that's it. All right. Seems easy enough. previous idea. Now, I will say that uh, I watched the first five minutes of this being played by Matt Pat, so he only just went through the front gates of the park. So I didn't uh, 
have too much spoiled for me, but I did see a little bit of a, a raccoon friend. Uh, the game is not that long. It's only about uh, only about an hour. So that's good for me. I uh, I don't want super long games. <laughs> for all who journey to this newfound paradise, we welcome you. Indigo Park offers a slice of the American dream to call your own. In this place, echoes of days gone are brought back to life as a new generation captures a glimpse of the exciting potential of tomorrow. Indigo Park pays homage to the values, dreams, and unwavering truths that gave rise to our great nation. Here you embark on the journey of a lifetime, a place of creativity, joy, and fantasy. There's something off about that guy. I'm not sure if he's AI generated or not. Uh, dog pictures on the desktop. Couldn't read the uh, messages there. Uh, I didn't see what that... Mom's favorite. Molly McCone. Hey Laura, doing another search this weekend? Just be careful, I don't want to pay your bail. Get those to the next week. They go through that way too fast. I want to read the damn story. <laughs> Come meet Finlay. Life experiences. Bird up. Park sudden. Park suddenly evacuated. Still waiting for information for authorities. Turn page two. Ah. Angular entrance. I'm not really feeling this music. Also, uh kind of sounds like um, Santa Claus is coming to town, <laughs> but <laughs> the tune. Uh-oh, did I just freeze? Oh, it's loading. There we go. All right. One moment. Um, there we go. There we go. All right. Oh. Here comes the boy. Hello, boy. boy. Thank you, Zima. Welcome. Here he comes. There he is. Here comes the boy. I forgot I had that audio. <laughs> The audio of Nathan hates. <laughs> All right, let's see Indigo Park. What does that say? Do not enter. Caution. All right. Oh God, I walk slow. <laughs> there we go. Sprinting. Oh, what's this? I can't tell what that is. Garbage. Tarps. Here's our bird friend. India storage. Collectible. Hmm. Bird up. Oh. That's broken. And I don't think I can interact with this. Oh. There's another collectible. Collectibles everywhere. All right. Well, that's ominous. Nostalgia. Oh, what's that? Hmm. Weird. Hi, 
Fair, and welcome to Indigo Park! The world's most innovative and engaging family fun experience! Jump into the world of your favorite character! Wait! You're our first guest in 2,920 days, 4 hours, 23 minutes, and 38 seconds! That's 8 years! Congratulations! I'm Rambly, Rambly the Raccoon, and it's my job to make sure your experience here at Indigo Park is the most fun it can be! Just hop on over to the registration center to your left! Where our friendly what? assistant will help you begin your adventure in the park. Oh. He pointed that way. Also, I, uh... I, I've already seen the first five minutes of this game, so I know what happens here. Um, and I also know that there is, um... There is something missing here. There is an item that's going to appear here later. And it's not here now. Where does it come from? <laughs> How does it get in here? Strange that they wouldn't, uh... Just have it in here from the start. Oh, only because rooftop... What? Rooftop ramble? Alright. How do I... Wait, where's the... Oh, I get in Why do I have to interact with the chair, not the computer? Rambly, Rambly the Raccoon, and it's my job to make sure your experience here at Indigo Park is registered. Let me just get a good look at you. Hmm, I don't seem to have your face in our guest list. Is this your first time here at the park, or did you just get plastic surgery? No worries, it's Rambly Tuesday, so you qualify for a big discount on your visit. Just follow uh -oh. me to the main gate. Ooh, I can't wait for you to see everything Indigo Park has to offer. Oh, I was having a... Hey, the gar- what? Wait, what? <laughs> hello, hello, chosen one. Hey, the garbage pile, no wonder you found me. Really, you didn't tell us about a belt first. Yeah, I don't know what uh, happened there. I just uh, had some uh, glitching going on. Um, <laughs> I probably should have rebooted my PC before I started playing. Uh, but it could also be that, uh, I don't have the, uh, frame limited. So what if I, uh, lock the FPS to 60, which is my thing? Maybe then it won't, uh, glitch out anymore. <laughs> All right. So, he told me to go to the front kiosk, I guess? I hear you in there. I'll be back. Do, 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 do. So, uh, I mentioned earlier, I watched the first five minutes of this being played, so... Uh, Matt Pat got inside the, uh, the entrance What's here. What's the hold up? The gate is open! Head on into the entryway! Hmm, hold on. My mistake, the gate is not open. There seems to be an error message being sent from the gate's power unit. Lucky you! You get to be the first person to try our turn on the generator mini rambly venture! Have fun! Um, yeah, so, uh, Matt Pat had just gotten these doors open and went inside, and, uh, that's when I stopped watching, so I didn't spoil it all for myself. Yeah, so, nothing, nothing, nothing. Ah, <laughs> the Indigo Violet Compact Power Generator. But it seems to be inoperable. Looks like it's missing a piece. Can you find it? Uh, what was that? <laughs> Where did they come from? <laughs> Wait! Oh, you son of a bitch. See, I didn't even, uh... I didn't even make the connection with that hole up there. Oh. Can I get it? Yes. Um. Yeah, I didn't make the connection with that hole before. 
So, something just fucking dropped us down here. But what? And who? That explains where it came from, though. I guess it wasn't a... I guess it wasn't a cheat or something where it was going to spawn it in later. <laughs> Alright. I've beaten you, Matt Pat. You didn't notice that gear appearing out of nowhere. Haha. <laughs> This is where I, uh, stopped watching, so I have no idea what the hell is going to happen from this point out. Aside from some interesting <laughs> images which I've seen people drawing of the, uh, of the series. <laughs> but <laughs> I guess that's not a, not a huge spoiler since it's just, uh, pictures of these characters. <laughs> Especially this little lion down here. Uh, so, oh, I can't collect those because they're behind glass. All right. Yeah. So, I don't know the gator's name. I know that character's name, and I know that character's name, and I know Rambly. Let's see here. Oh, there, there they are. The songs in this game keep on reminding me of those other songs. Like, the opening song reminded me of Santa Claus is Coming to Town. And this song that's whistling sounds like, uh... Dun 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 I don't know what that song is. Dun 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 Ah, uh, it's... Like a song that's often used in old West cartoons, I think. But I'm not sure what that song is. Hello? There, Mr. Tiger. I mean, Lion. Sorry. Ooh. Okay, the entire Earth is still there. We're not in some kind of post-apocalyptic world. Oh, there's an information kiosk. And it looks destroyed. Oh. Display. Oh, I can go through there, but... Are there any other doors that I can go through? Oh, silly Rambly. Every guest needs a critter cuff. That will allow you access to reserved areas, charge payments to your room, and wear a critter cuff. I think there's some in the gift shop. Head in there and I'll get you set up. Oh, I just lagged again. What the hell? Oh, that's the gift shop. Um, I wonder if maybe I should shut down my Firefox <laughs> to uh, stop the glitching. Oh, Rambly the Raccoon. First time chatter. Don't. Don't shut down my Firefox. <laughs> Hello, Rambly. Are you the creator of the game? <laughs> Here you go, buddy. Your very own Critter Cuff. A new way to interact with the park that also doubles as a pedometer, heart monitor, and mood ring. Data disclosure agreement included. <laughs> Okay. 
here. <laughs> Well, don't kill me, Rambly. Wait a minute, that... <laughs> what is that? Oh, was that the... Oh, that was a screen, and it moved down? I didn't... I wasn't watching. Um, I was looking at Rambly talking in chat. Uh, that, that reminds me of GLaDOS, <laughs> that, the shape of that thing. Also, I didn't follow the arrows in the ground. I'm a bad patron. Rambly must be pretty convincing. While we were perfectly willing to climb over a 10-foot fence, we're not cool with vaulting over a turnstile. <laughs> yes. <laughs> there was that other area. It seemed like I could uh, just climb over the concrete over there. Oh, what are these? Uh-oh! The door mysteriously locked! Oh. Why not test out your band and save the day? Okay, Rambly. I don't know how to test out my band. It did it give me instructions on how to test out my band <laughs> that I didn't notice. <laughs> jump, jump, E. Nope. Uh, U. No. R. T. Y. U. I. O. Enter. Oh, that's my flashlight. Uh, okay. Hmm. <laughs> Shit. Let me see here. Controls. Key bindings. Ah. Uh, I don't see anything for uh, opening a little thing. Maybe I don't actually have to do anything with it. Uh, maybe I just walked through that door in order to trigger it. I just still want to... Ah, oh, won't let me go over there. Unless I can jump. Can I jump? Ah, I did jump, but it still won't let me go over that direction. Oh, they got little, uh, ear hats. Wait. Oh, that's what I saw in that other room. Those, um... Spires. All right. Oh, is this the thing? There we go. Hooray! Great work, buddy. Now try entering the park, and we can start our indigo adventure. Okay. So I could go in there. But what the hell is this over here? Can I actually climb over this? Wait. Oh, it won't let me. Why do you let me run up this ramp here, but then not climb over it? <laughs> That's ridiculous. I know I'm being watched. There's a freaking camera there. It's watching me constantly. The uh, hand is a little jittery here when you move around. <laughs> Alright. Uh, also, if I may be so bold as to make a uh, minor complaint about the graphics here. I mean, look at this. I can't even see this thing when my flashlight is shining on it. And part of the reason for that is because when you highlight these things they, like, turn gray. There's gotta be a better way to handle that, like an outline or something. Uh, so that it doesn't have to, uh, just turn gray like that. I... I watched little bits here and there of other people playing the game, and every time that they went up to, like, a kiosk or something, the whole thing turned, like, bright gray, and it was just annoying to see. Um, but, I mean, that's... A minor thing, but also easily fixed. Oh, so I didn't even have to do that whole damn scan thing again. That's nice. <laughs> Why is that, uh... 
It didn't turn. Zero out of ten. <laughs> okay. Rambly. Wait a minute. He's not following me with his head, is he? <laughs> I can't tell. He certainly... He is fucking following you with his head. It doesn't look... That's a camera. <laughs> what the hell? That's creepy. <laughs> yeah. I, uh, I have some flashlights in a raccoon-themed, uh, forest world in VR chat that I made. It's called, a uh, Raccoon Ravine, if you ever want to search for it in VR chat. Uh, it's actually the world that I have at the start of every stream with me walking around in the woods carrying a flashlight and being funny um, that's that world watch when you get on the train watch the left of Molly's scene all right um this being an indie game, I expect there to be things that mm, are not easily spotted. Like that thing with the gear at the beginning. Let's see what else is in here? Anything? Um, I mean, that's all, all comes down to polish and stuff like that. And I don't expect indie developers to be able to go and polish every single thing. But everything I've seen about this game so far is... Pretty damn polished. It looks uh, really well done. And I also looked at their Kickstarter, and uh, last I checked it this morning, it was like at 150,000 out of the 50k that they were trying to raise. So they're definitely making a part two. Uh, all right. Oh. Oh. Loading screen. Yeah. I, uh... What? Excuse me? <laughs> the whole fucking thing collapsed. That wasn't nearly loud enough for that level of collapse. <laughs> um... Yeah, I, uh, I actually caught that the uh, the gear falls from the ceiling because uh, I had watched Matt Platt play earlier and I knew that the gear was going to be there and it wasn't there when I first entered the room. Like, where's that gear? Is it just going to spawn in on me? So I turned around and I actually saw it fall from the ceiling. <laughs> mm. Molly McCaw's rooftop races. Ah. Yeah, they, they've got to fix this damn flashlight. <laughs> um, how would I fix this flashlight? I'm a game developer. Uh, I would uh, I would do a ray cast out from the flashlight to determine the distance to the surface that it's hitting. And if, uh, if it's too close, then uh, reduce the brightness of the flashlight so that it doesn't overpower everything. Um... I don't know if there's any other way that you could implement that, like in a shader, uh, to prevent things from being blown out. I mean, if you have, like, HDR and stuff like that, that's part of what HDR is made for, but HDR isn't really perfect, and uh, <laughs> I found that working on my own games, uh, that it's difficult to go and get it just right. And I assume this game already has HDR built into it. I mean, pretty much every game does these days. So that, I don't know if that would help with this or not. Uh, but yeah, the uh, the raycast thing and the dimming of the flashlight when you're up close to something like this would uh, probably help a lot. Also, I just remembered I can actually turn the flashlight on and off. So <laughs> maybe, maybe that's what I should be doing. <laughs> 
If I was a real person, okay, I would put the flashlight down by my side. So it just didn't occur to me. <laughs> but yeah, I'll just leave the flashlight off. How about that? Finley. Oh. Finley. Finley can't be the crocodile. So that means there's the crocodile, there's the lion, there's uh Rambly and uh the bird and some other kind of thing named Finley. Didn't come out of rooftop races. Oceanic Odyssey. Hmm. Oh, can I go in the restrooms? Hello. I'm to pee pee. Well, at least there's not a camera in here, too. Hmm. I can't go in there. I, I see around the edge. No. Oh, can't even go inside the stall. <laughs> I want to look in the toilet for collectibles. All right. Let's go in the women's restroom. Anything? Oh, a collectible. Aha. All right. Garbage. Do, 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 do. in our dust, buddy. Looks like the park is going through some renovations. For the inconvenience, your Rambly Tuesday discount will be free. Percent off! Why not celebrate this great deal with a ride on my railroad? To test your sleuthing skills, I'll let you find this one all by yourself. Okay. I wonder if there's any point to being able to turn the flashlight on and off. Besides not blowing out all the graphics. I like the bird, and yet, from the title screen, I assume I'm going to hate the bird. <laughs> wow, I found Rambley's Railroad. I'm a genius. Are you going to lock me in? Bitch. <laughs> oh, not yet. Okay. No, I can't, uh, can't go in there. Oh. Hey, Dino. It's your favorite thing. <laughs> oh, more. <laughs> yeah, Rambly's animation is nice. I've been wanting to make a game with a, a raccoon for a while, but, um, <clears throat> not, uh, not a 2D character like that. <laughs> I'm not an I'm not an animator, so your facial data suggests you may be a bit older than the target audience for this ride. But it's one of my How favorites. Do you know dare why you rambly? The raccoon loves Rambly's railroad. Because I like trains. <laughs> I, s <laughs> I I saw a meme with that audio in it. Shut up, Dino! <laughs> hmm. You think they are that green fellow from the gift shop? The the undersea guy? The green fellow from the gift shop kind of looked like a crocodile. But that's an oceanic uh, character. I mean, it's possible. Uh, but the design of that plush didn't scream ocean monster to me. Um, uh, then again, I would be surprised if this game did have a gator, since, uh, you know, FNAF has a gator in it. They probably wouldn't want to, uh, duplicate. <laughs> All right. 
Here we go. Choo -choo. Um, somebody said look to the left. When I'm on the train. Uh, oh. Welcome to Rambly's Railroad. I'm Conductor Rambly. Ah. <laughs> uh. Oh. <laughs> Oh look! It's Molly McCaw! It's Molly McCaw! The greatest pilot you ever saw! You sure are, Mal. Why, you only crashed into six bars this week! I'm not crashing, Rambly! I'm barnstorming! <laughs> What's barnstorming? It's crashing with style! It barely hurts at all! Say, those young adventurers you've got along with you look like great pilots! Why not try your hand at flying in my ride? Admission included with the critter cup. Okay. Well. I missed it. Specifically when I see the bird. Ah. Was I supposed to be looking at the the blank wall to my oh, left? <laughs> Come on out and greet the people. Oh. Why the long face Wait. and body? You've known me for 100 years, Rambly. I'm always long because I'm always longing for a new seashell for my collection. Oh, Finley, you should come out of your shell. How about you come into it instead? My ride, Oceanic Odyssey, will teach you all about the wonders down under the deep blue sea. It's as blue as me. Uh, I hope you'll visit. I'm so lonely. Oceanic Odyssey currently closed for repairs. So, uh, at Lloyd's, look to the left of the train at the wall. Okay. Wait, is this a... This is a skunk! I already like this game. Alright. Oh. Are you okay over there, Rambly? Wait, is this part of the skunk? It is. You're broken in half. Hmm. So this would have been the, uh... The skunk environment. like they're important but also those look like they might be unity assets <laughs> oh there's a gear oh I need three gears
Oh, I didn't even click on that. <laughs> All right. So you want me to look? Hey there, Lloyd. Do not shame me with that common folk name. I am the proud, the prestigious, the professional Lloydford L. Lion. I'm looking at the wall. Or extraordinaire. There you are. Great act, Lloyd. Of course it was. I'm the real star. <laughs> hmm. So is that uh, is that what I missed in the other room? Did she pop her head out before as well? Oh. Hmm. I like. What the heck, game? Just put an invisible fucking wall right there. Why not just let me walk over to the train? All right. So, what do you think? Pretty fun, right? Now you know all about my friends and Lloyd. And Lloyd. So, where do you want to go? <laughs> where do I want to go? I'm guessing you're not going to give me an option on where to go. Get your photos here. I'm not in any of these photos. Wait! Bird! Was the bird following me at one point on the track? Mm. Can I get back there and look at this? Oh, thank God. They didn't put an invisible wall there. Alright. Ah. Extra, extra large. Are they, are they gonna sell these in a merch shop? I mean, I might buy an Indigo Park shirt. Like, this design with, like, the raccoon tail in the back? <laughs> that would be better than the, uh... than the ones that they have hanging there. Hmm. Interesting. Okay. That is it. the dimmest moon I've ever seen. Explosive barrel. Wait, I don't even have my flashlight on. I like the, uh... I like the audio. You know, little crickets and stuff. Oh. Lloyd's Fear. knew it. They're not going to let me go just wherever I want to. Hmm. Oh, what's this? Mmm. Yummy. Somehow I would expect those to be in worse shape, considering this place has been closed for eight years. They probably wouldn't even be there. They would have been eaten by rats. Also, how are those cookies and donuts still... <laughs> oh, wait, is that a collectible? It is! That's another problem with the flashlight, is you can't see the... Well, a problem with both the flashlight and the, the way that they highlight the things is I can't...
see that the thing is glowing when the flashlight is shining on it. The way that it's set up right now. Can I go in here? Oh. Alright. So that was just for a collect one. Buddy, come over here. Okay. Give me a second. Oh. Ooh. Aha! Is that a golden rambling? Why did that seem to? Wait, does it glow in the dark? It gets bright. That's weird. Huh. I got the golden rambler. Where does kiosk go? Oh, there it is. This here is an information kiosk. If there's anything around the park you want to ask me about, just stop by here and I'll ramble on about it. See, this is what I was talking about with the glowing shit. Fix that. <laughs> it's so annoying. Um. The green might not be by design. When you said the green might not be by design, do you mean the mold on the food? In the beta, this area had no sounds. Well, that doesn't surprise me too much. <laughs> beta mean is unfinished. But it's easy for people to go and forget to do things like that. All the little polish and shit. Um, it's all. Oh, oh, I got this! I know the commercial by heart! Wow! It's the unlimited edition Rambly the Raccoon Fraction figure! Push him down and he jumps! Push him up and he doesn't! Only $19.99 at your favorite toy store! I want one. Huh. Have I literally collected almost everything there is to collect in the game? already. And why do I suspect that I missed this somewhere? <laughs> Ooh, that's a Rambly cup! Nothing beats the taste of fresh Rambleberry juice drunk directly out of my plastic, lifeless head! Wow, is that a limited edition gold Rambly plush? Parents were fighting tooth and nail for those things when they came out. Seriously, our employees had to clean up so many stray teeth and nails. Hard to believe there was all that demand for a regular Rambly plush we just blasted with gold spray paint. Oh, a Molly plush! She's always been my best friend. Did you know she builds planes in her landing pad at the park? And then she crashes them! She's so talented. Oh, you found my buddy Finley! You know, he's really shy. Like, too shy. Like, obnoxiously shy. But he's got a good heart. I hope you get to meet him someday. I just noticed the clock is going wacko. <laughs> oh, wait, that's... Huh. Is this a golden version of that? Ew, Lloyd. <laughs> <laughs> well, now I get the, uh... Lloyd jokes I've seen everywhere. All the collectibles so far to this point in the game, or all the collectibles in the game. <laughs> Congratulations! You found me! Yay. Don't I look adorable? Rambly ears! Those used to fly off the shelves. 
That pair is pretty damaged, though. Keep your eyes peeled. There's got to be at least one more mint condition set out there somewhere. Like a yard sale! But there aren't in here. Unless that's the mint condition one. It doesn't look the same. Oh, I can't click that. Oh, I've, I've done everything. All right. Uh, okay. To this point in the game, the next area has more. Okay. I figured. I hoped. <laughs> I know that this game is really short. It's only like an hour long. Um, so. Of course, I've just been uh, taking my time and looking at everything in detail. So it's probably going to be more like an hour and a half or a two hour game for me. We'll, we'll see. Well, look at that. Huh? You're at Jetstream Junction. Oops. Looks like Jetstream Junction's being tuned up. Last I checked, there's a security office in the back of the theater. Lloyd's Maybe a friendly wrangler can help you get in. Orange level access granted. All right. Wait, what's that? Oh. I want to go on the Ferris wheel. You know, I've never ridden a Ferris wheel in my life. And I probably never will, because I am terrified of heights. <laughs> I made the mistake of... As in... When, when I was a kid, I never went on any of the scary rides, uh, because when I was a small child, uh, my neighbors took me on a roller coaster and it scared the piss out of me. Um, but as an adult, uh, we went to the local amusement park and I said, you know what, I've got to try one of these rides once. So I went on the, uh, the giant swinging pirate ship <laughs> and that, that scared the living piss out of me. It wasn't so bad when it would go up, but when it would swing back down, I couldn't, uh, I had to turn my head away and not, not watch. So I don't think I'll ever end up going on a Ferris wheel. Although, now that I think about it, I did, it's weird. So as an adult, I'm terrified of heights. But as a child, I used to climb trees, and I went on a rope uh, uh, a rope climbing course when I was in grade school, and those had no effect on me. But then um, when I got older in high school, I had to go on a rope climbing course and go down a, uh, a zip line, and that scared the piss out of me. Um... And climbing up to the top of a, uh, a tower in the White Mountains to get a view in the distance, that scared the crap out of me. <laughs> but, uh, but I, oh, I, my, the point I was getting to is, uh, when I was, when I was a kid, uh, at that same amusement park, I went on the, uh, the log flume ride once, I remember that, and that had a huge, uh, hill on it. And I don't remember, I don't remember if I was terrified of that. I don't remember being terrified. But maybe I got scared when I got to the top and I closed my eyes. Uh, but yeah, it's, uh, uh, it kind of feels like I became more scared of heights as I got older for some reason. And I didn't have any reason to become scared of heights. Also, VR, heights and VR have no effect on me. And I'm a little bit worried that uh, as headsets get better and we get wider FOV and we get, uh, uh, f uh, what do you call it, depth of field so that things in the distance blur and stuff properly, I'm worried that maybe I might then start feeling fear of heights in VR. But I don't know if I will or not because I know that it's not real. But at the same time, I knew that I was perfectly safe climbing up that tower in the White Mountains, and I was still terrified. <laughs> you can't, I can't really control my fear, even if I know there is a, nothing to be afraid of. 
<laughs> yeah, that's... <laughs> Yeah, that's something that I thought about, my fear of heights being proportional. I mean, when I was when I was young, uh, I used to, like, basically jump out of the second story window in my house. My bedroom was on the second floor. I used to climb out the window and then drop to the ground from that. And uh, that would basically break my bones now, and I would never try that. Uh, I would also, like, climb up on the roof. I'd climb out of my skylight and climb up on the roof... And uh, hang out up there all the time. Um, and I don't think this had anything to do with my fear of heights or anything. But uh, I decided to climb up there one winter like a fucking idiot. And I almost slid off the fucking roof. <laughs> I would have broken my neck. <laughs> but I still climbed up on the roof after that. Just not in the winter time when it was all icy. <laughs> Okay. Oh. Sure. Oh. Oh. Hello there, Lloyd. This is a nice place. I'll just turn off the flashlight. So I can get a good look at Lloyd here. Why did he run away? I thought he was going to murder me. Lloyd, come back. Please. Also, I did not expect Lloyd to uh, run around on all fours. <laughs> uh, yeah, flashlight would help. There we go. Uh, you know what? I'm gonna look around here and make sure there are no, uh, collectibles, because this is exactly where they'd hide one. Mm. Don't see any. Okay. Nothing. They've got to do something with this room. Nobody would put this level of fucking detail into a room and then only have the lion run off the damn stage in the room. <laughs> this, is, this is like final confrontation area. And also these chairs and things like that I have a feeling they're going to get knocked out of the way. They're going to get chased by a lion. they got to make use of this space. All right. Good. Hey, buddy. I've got eyes all over the park, but I can't see anything behind the stage. If you're going back there, be careful. Your Kritikov is not yet able to resuscitate you. Resuscitate me? Excuse me? <laughs> sounds that a piano makes, but I'll accept it. <laughs> All right. uh, hmm. There haven't been a lot of scares in this game yet, which is concerning, considering how short it is. I, I say, just as I hear a noise, Why is he hiding from me? Uh... 
Prelude. Collectibles. Collectibles. Lloyd's Lloyd's what? Lyo Lloyd's uh, Lloyd's limos? It's a Is that a collectum? Wait, what's that? I can't collect it. Interesting. Can't collect that either. This feels like a trap. This When everyone was saying I don't like Lloyd and all the memes and stuff like that. Um, I assumed that Lloyd was going to be a worker at the park. Um, obviously, Lloyd is not a worker at the park. Uh, and I haven't seen anything mentioning any workers at the park, but it certainly seems like somebody has been uh, going through documentation. Ah! Jesus! Hey! Uh. <laughs> well, well, uh, as I was saying, it certainly seems like somebody's been going through documentation at the uh, at the park. I don't know if Lloyd can read. So, Lloyd used to be a biped, but now he's turned feral. Hmm. And, hmm, well, since we know that Rambly didn't go insane, presumably, Lloyd um, broke for some reason. What? That is not safe at all. Can I go inside here? E e e. Can't open these. I want to open them. I want to find plushes inside. Also, I'm getting tearing on my screen the the tearing looks when I'm I don't know if you guys can see that you probably can't now um I'm getting v-sync tearing on my screen when I move side to side oh there's the key uh before I take that uh, I don't think I can access that computer actually uh yeah no all right i don't understand where i'm supposed to we're gonna go from here hey i'm clicking on it i ain't taking it Oh. That, oh, I see. It's because I'm so close to the wall, the, uh, my center reticle isn't where I thought it was. And I can't see the center reticle. 
Actually, I can't see the center reticle most of the time. Okay, whatever. Use the key to jet stream. Unlock jet stream. Yeah. Jet stream junction. Uh oh. I don't know where jet stream junction was. Was it my my little rambly thing that made him go away? Weird. Uh, what the? <laughs> Hold on, I gotta look at my stream here. I uh, I can't see it. It's too small on my screen. What the hell? What character was that? That wasn't the bird, because we already saw the bird. In fact, that, that I mean, that's, that's the character from the title screen, but... I had assumed the character from the title screen was the bird, and the bird was going to go crazy, but... We already saw the bird. We saw the bird on the... On the in the train ride, uh, come out of the wall, and we saw, uh, it on the monitor, following the train. And it didn't look like that. So, that's something else. Also, that something else is clothed in red because it cut the, the curtain. That's why the curtain is cut. It made its own cloak. I suppose it could be the bird just wearing a cloak now. But... I don't remember where the hell the, uh... I guess I need to leave here? Can I come back? It's weird that the lion decided to run away initially, but then attacked me when I was in there. What is that? Weird. LED. Seems to be some sort of a light, but it's not actually being used for anything. Oh. The spotlight is out. Interesting. Did I miss something? Uh... <laughs> All right. These lights weren't on before, were they? I don't remember them being on.
Why is there even a jump button when I can only jump with one foot off the ground? Did I get anything now? No. Ew, Floyd. Check out Molly's rooftop races. It's not far from here, and it's a great warm-up before we get into the bigger rides. Just take it up at Molly's landing pad. Bird up. Oh, the uh, reflection is messing with that. She's cute. Pretzel dog. I'm not a fan of pretzel. I mean, I, I like pretzels. I'm not a fan of pretzel buns. <laughs> And I haven't seen any lately, so maybe most people aren't a big fan of pretzel buns. Molly, I didn't realize you were so large. Your head's not following me. Rooftop races, landing pad, Molly's garage. I'm paralyzed by choice. What is this? Ugh. Damn it, why am I yawning? Oh shit. Any collectibles? 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 Nope. Oh no, all these planes crash somewhere in the room. Okay. Find her, make sure she's okay. Oh no, I died. Restart? Restart? Do you want to restart? I can double jump. Ah, ah, ah. God, this ugh, my hands are cramping up. <laughs> Keyboard controls. Right. Oh shit! Uh, hello, hello, laughing. I just killed a. I'm gonna ruin everything. What? <laughs> Sorry, little squirrel, but you must die. This is so hard to control. Oh, fuck me! Ah, no. <laughs> you didn't know I streamed. I guess you should follow like my Twitter account. I, can't, I mean, I, I don't stream very often, <laughs> but uh, I do post on my Twitter account when I, uh, when I stream. Ah. Uh.
I've uh, I've actually been streaming for a couple of years now. Um, uh, not that uh, not that much success streaming because I don't stream very often. But I have played a few games. I played Monkey Island. I played uh, like a H of Blood. I I finished Monkey Island. I did not finish most of the other ones. I played uh. What was it called? Uh, 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 the Entropy Center. Uh, I haven't finished that yet either. Uh, because that one is full of fucking puzzles, and uh, I'm not a huge fan of puzzles. Also, the game just goes on forever. Like, my problem with that game is not just that it has puzzles, it's... the puzzles are really freaking hard. It's like... Oh, god damn it. <laughs> um... It would take me... It, it, the game is like Portal. It would take me, uh... an hour to solve one room in that damn game. <laughs> one of the puzzles. So... Oh no. Ah, this is bad. Ah. Uh, I'm not sure what that was for. Uh. Um. I'm not getting any more collectibles anymore. Oh! Molly, what happened? Uh, really? I fell through the woods, but suddenly I couldn't see a thing. Wait, it's a skunk character! Salem? Salem's, uh... I assume Salem's a guy. <laughs> Uh, how about I grab my new potion on my headset? Oh, Molly, look out! Oh no. Wait. Is that where that purple character came from? Instead of the, the skunk cause all of this? Fun finding out. Oh! She's putting gunk on the ground. I... Okay? <laughs> oh. I got a collectible. Well, that is, um... Interesting. Huh. Okay, Molly's Garage. Oh, I could go for a burger right now. God damn. Those look delicious. Wait! No! No, you can't. You can't sell a chicken sandwich in Molly's garage. <laughs> Get it Ramsey style. What? Loaded hot dog. No, no. Get it Ramsey style. What is a Ramsey? 
I want to know what rambly style is. Hmm. Is a rambly style ranch dressing? Hmm. That's weird. Huh. Why even have this upper area if there's nothing up here to collect? Strange decision. Hmm. Okay. Is there no way to get back there? No, I don't see any doors or anything. Alright. I assume this bird has helped me with the, uh, by dropping the gear, but I also... Was I supposed to go to the landing pad? Or to rooftop races? I think I was supposed to go to the landing pad, but... I'm 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 just trying to uh, figure out what's going on with the shader here. I think um, because that's that's really unusual what it's doing. Um, I don't know. I I it it almost seems like some kind of a temporal temporal uh, a anti aliasing type of deal, except. It's not affecting anything else. I'm not seeing any like weird blurring over the environment. And that's a very long time for that to fade out after I light it up. So I don't know what's going on with that. How that functions. It must just... I don't know. Also, why do I have my demo light up? I need to get to an information kiosk at some point so I can... Oh. Oh no! This is horrible! Uh, looks like Molly crashed into the right again! Don't worry though, your pal Rambly has the repairman on speed dial! I can't close that room. We're sorry. The number you have dialed has been disconnected or is no longer in service. Please check the number and dial again. Uh, say, why don't you check out Molly's landing pad? It's not far from here and it's a great cooldown after that exhilarating ride. Just take a down from Molly's rooftop races. Why can't I jump over anything and explore? Da, 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 da. Before I go in there, I want to go to the information kiosk. If I can still. I want to try out the, uh, see what these other items are that I just collected. Check out Molly's rooftop races. It's not far from here, and it's a great warm up before we get into the bigger one. Oh, you're not gonna let me. Take it up at Molly's landing pad. You're not gonna let me leave. Eh. 
I don't think that's the thing that I'm supposed to scan. Yeah, there is no scanner here to let me out. You son of a bitch. Yeah, that's what I, uh... That's what I said about the plushes laughing. I noticed that they they seem to, like, glow in the dark a bit. But I don't, uh... I don't get what's going on with that in terms of the, uh... The shader. I've never seen a shader do that before. Hmm. Oh, so have you played through this laughing already? How far am I into this demo? Am I halfway? I know that the game is only about an hour long. Because I've seen other people playing it. I looked at how long their streams were. Hmm. So how far would you say I am through it? Disappointing. <laughs> I wanted the balls to fly out when I went into there. Alright. Well, let's make this on a triangle and see what the hell happens. Oh, I am a dum dum. This is a circle. Obviously, they all need to be circles. Wait, what? Huh? What? Why? How? Did I solve the puzzle or was there no solution and that was just a thing to make me trigger something? Ah. Um, have I seen Lloyd yet? Um, yeah, I saw Lloyd the Lion. Um,. There's a star on the... Okay. okay, but that... How is that tied to that? I mean, there's no triangles near these ones. I mean... Does, do these just do nothing? <laughs> do these have no part in this puzzle? <laughs> I guess. But why wasn't it a, a circle? It should be a circle. Oh well. Anyway. In we go. So three quarters of the way through already, huh? Alright. What the? What? I missed it! Damn it! I saw something... Look kind of feathery, but I'm not sure. Uh, well, they went through here. Where'd you go? What the? Ah! That! Ah! What? What? I didn't die or anything. Why did you restart me? Ma. Ah. I'm gonna go over here. <gasps> that is definitely the bird. <laughs> and now I, uh, <laughs> should I 
I don't want to go any further down. I think I might be able to jump across that thing. Was there a plush over there that I missed? Ah. Uh. <laughs> Uh, I gotta go check it. Also, that bird seemed to be like leaking blood or something on the ground. What the hell? It didn't look like purple goo. Aha! Ah. Which way am I supposed to go? Wait, was that? What? Triangle. Green triangle. Okay, this is a puzzle, I assume. All right, green triangle, blue star. Purple star. Looks blue to me. I guess it could be seen as purple as well if the flashlight isn't on it. Green triangle, blue star. Okay. Hmm. Green triangle. So that one's correct. Blue star. I guess that counts as a yellow circle. Oh, now I'm back here again. Well, shit. <laughs> Alright. I haven't seen the red one yet, though, I don't think. something. Did I miss a red something? I mean, I could just spin the damn thing until it hits the right combo. But, uh, I'd like to find the last thing if it's in here somewhere. Red something or other. We got red star circle triangle and what else is there? Star circle triangle and square. So it's probably a square, but I realize I could just turn it to... Oh! Red star! Ha-ha! See? I didn't have to cheat. <laughs> no 
cheating for me. me I clearly was did she run at me <laughs> I was caught but there's the chase look out for that collectible let's see to respawn but Molly was my friend I thought uh I'm still not clear on what the fuck that's supposed to be for. Also, why is it covered in blood? <laughs> it's... I don't... I don't get what's going on here. Because it seemed like the bird helped me at the start, giving me the gear. And didn't want to kill me when I was on the train. But now it wants to kill me? And Lloyd ran away when I entered his space. But then, uh... Then he tried to kill me. Are they protecting their environments? Oh, that's why I have to click the damn thing. To make that unlock? That's not very clear. Mm. Alright. Oh god. Hello there, birdie. Oh god. Oh god. Did you get me? Ah. Oh, is it? Ah, ah! Hello! Goodbye! Oh! I should have jumped there. Oh shit. I haven't seen any collectibles yet! Ah! No god! Follow me. Oh, there she is. <laughs> what? what? Wait, what's that bullshit? She wasn't anywhere near me. <laughs> Fucking game. You bastards. Yeah. Why? <laughs> she was much closer to me. <laughs> Every time you turn around, you get so nervous. <laughs> 
<laughs> she was much closer to me earlier in the chase. And she didn't kill me. But then she kills me when she was that far away from me in the fucking hallway. Also, did I keep my collectible or not? Oh, come on! I gotta do the whole freaking thing again! Ah. My hand is cramping up here. <laughs> Alright. My hand is cramping up because it's so hard to hold down the, the run button at the same time as I'm doing the ASDW. Alright. I went this way the first time. I hear you behind me! I'm fast as fuck, boy! I'm fast as fuck, boy! Oh, shit! That didn't work. <laughs> I gotta be ready to hit that E button. So I can close that collectible. Oh no, I'm stuck. Gimme, give gimme, give gimme, give gimme! Oh god, and they're running! Who hit the wrong button? <laughs> god damn it. <laughs> 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 I'll get this. Molly can repeat words that she's heard, don't be fooled. That's a clever, um... That's a clever thing, um, to know, but, uh, all right. Uh, I really should have some other button to run here. I wish I could, like, if I remap my keys so that I could, like, hold down the right mouse button to run instead. My fingers wouldn't cramp up as much. <laughs> ah. All right. But too late for that now. Oh. I've never tried going the first way, so I don't know what the hell is over there. <laughs> it may be the first way has a collectible and I just don't know it. But oh well. Shit! Oh, the first way is just her. I fucked up. <laughs> How can she come from that tunnel if she's behind me at this dart? <laughs> that doesn't make any sense, but okay. Like, she's, she's behind me right now. How the fuck could she be in that tunnel that's right there? That is my fine. <laughs> she is behind me. I've seen her come out of that doorway that I can't, that I can't go through.
Yeah, if you like Jason, he teleports behind you. <laughs> I just gotta remember where that fucking E key is on my keyboard. Don't get stuck. Alright, here we go. Got it. <laughs> There's still more. I can hear it behind me! I can hear it behind me! Ah, there you are, buddy! Yeah. Wait, hold on! This room's staff only! Come on in, this staff! Oh, shit! No! What? No! You can't kill her off! Welcome to the Ramblies Wranglers. No! Here we have plenty of amenities and... Uh, okay, okay. I can see in your facial tracking that you're scary, angry, upset. Transparency is an important part of our policy here at Indigo Park, so... I need to be honest about something. The park has been inactive for years. Employees stop showing up. Guests, too. The mascots are... I just was so excited to see a visitor, and I wanted to be sure you were given the best experience possible. But I was confined to the entrance for so long, I didn't realize just how much disrepair the park has fallen into. I'm wasting all of your fun time. Eh, sorry for the inconvenience. But, but, I have an idea. I have access to the repair documentation in my database. I just can't execute most tasks without authorization from a human user. You must have come here because the park matters to you too, right? <laughs> Would you be willing to help me restore the park? I can see in your facial tracking data that you aren't opposed to this. Oh, I'm so excited. Let's get this place back in business. <sighs> but no, you... Killed the bird! I like the bird! Why did you murder her? Also... Why is the bird full of blood? This is a robot, isn't it? <laughs> what the hell? They, they murdered a real furry. <laughs> uh, well. <laughs> okay, welcome to the crew, Rookie Wrangler. Registered. Your first official job as one of Rambly's Wranglers. Registered. Is to get out of the Rambly's Wranglers. Registered. Room. Head left towards the Rookie Wrangler. Registered. Security room to set yourself free. Phew. Kind of exhausting to say that whole spiel. But Rambly's Wrangler's registered. There's a registered trademark. <laughs> that expired yesterday. <laughs> what the? This staircase is not OSHA compliant. Okay. Look at how... Look at... Look, that... I, I, I've... I have built levels before where I had to look up the legal requirements for rise and run. Uh, <laughs> so that I would know how, how large I need to make the stairs. <laughs> that is not up to code. <laughs> yeah, they aren't robots. They are fleshy versions of themselves. Lloyd, too. Well, I don't know if that's a spoiler or not, but uh, he did seem not very robot-like, yeah. <laughs> Wranglers only. There's those p colorful pipes. Oh, 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 is that a collectible? No, I can't get it. I can't get it. Why? Why can't I collect it? Wait, can I get this one? No. 
I wonder if I'd be able to collect those if I hadn't already collected them elsewhere. Mm. Uh-oh! That Rambley's Wranglers room is only accessible by Royal Wranglers! Maybe one day you'll grow up big and strong enough to enter it! But for now, don't. How dare you. So... Oh, that's, uh... That's the other one that I saw the outline for. I thought it might be the skunk. Alright. Rookie Wrangler. <laughs> oh. Hmm. There's the destroyed thing. I don't see anything weird going on here. That's weird. That was... what? Yeah, there's... There's some... What engine are they using for this? Are they using the Unreal Engine? There's something odd going on here. So... We have that issue with the plushes, right? Becoming brighter over time. Um... Also, look at the ground there. Do you see the, uh... The static? in the in the ground that indicates to me that what we're seeing is some kind of lighting that utilizes like a uh, ray casting a ray tracing i mean um and it's built up over time which is why the brightness can't change instantly and why there's noise um when it changes rapidly it's like it's like temporarily uh the, the temporal anti-aliasing or whatever is is making it so when there are enough samples then the lighting becomes smooth but because the lighting is changing quickly there aren't yet enough samples to get that noise now i don't know that unity is capable of that um unreal engine though might be capable of doing that um effect i don't like unity has like a, a really old system for uh global illumination that vr chat has used in the past but it doesn't look like that um and i very much doubt that these guys would use such an old feature so i suspect this is an unreal engine game uh, but i could be wrong i mean hard to say finally an info kiosk I can see what my other... Oh, I didn't get the, uh... Wait. Get up. Oh, I did get it. No, wait. That's the, uh... Rambly head. What? Whoa! Where'd you find that? I've never seen anyone wearing one. Pretty snazzy. Ooh, looks like there's an audio recording tag with costume in my database I've never noticed before. Let's listen! Let's listen! Hey, Jackson. 
You hear about the new mascots? Yeah. Think it'll put us out of a job? I think so. Old sport. And right after we got this damn raccoon costume. Man, screw this place. I say we get our asses out of here and go straight to Vegas. Aw, oh, come on. They didn't even document the Indigo inventory ID for the costume. I was really looking forward to that. What a useless recording. Deleted. <laughs> uh, I used to be able to smell the unit, it's getting harder to do so. Oh, Quick Look says Unreal Engine 5. Alright, well, my game developer senses are uh, a tingle and are still. <laughs> Accurate. This doesn't really look like an Unreal Engine game to me, though. I mean, the game doesn't look bad, but at the same time, I expect more from Unreal Engine visuals than this. I don't know why, but... <laughs> oh, you found my buddy Finley! You know, he's really shy. Like, too shy. Oh, I already heard this one. Like, obnoxiously shy. But he's got a good heart. I hope you get to meet him someday. I hope so, too. I think I already did Molly. Ugh. I don't get why we even have those. Now, why do they only make one of Lloyd? Is it because he's the loudest? I can be loud, too! Where's my limited edition throwback plush? Where's Molly's? Where's Finley's? Give this mistake to a child and they'll cry. <laughs> Congratulations! You found me! Don't I look adorable? Uh... I think that's it. I think I looked at all of them. Oh! Not this one. Oh, and not that one. I'm gonna save that one for the last, because that's a weird one. Hey, buddy! Did you dig that out of the lost and found? Or was it in the trash? No surprise I guess that our park would dispose of a non-Indigo brand toy. Hmm. I suppose he'd make playtime special for a child with poor taste, though. That's interesting. Poodle plush. A weird poodle plush doesn't seem to be an Indigo product. Hmm. Whoa! Where'd you get that? Ramble berries are my favorite! Oh, if only I could jump out of the screen and take a big bite. Don't eat it! Maybe I'll be able to one day! Ah! <laughs> uh, only applied on real 5. The lighting it didn't work too much else with it. You maybe they transferred 4 to 5 halfway to your building again. Yeah, I mean, I don't know, uh... I don't know the differences between Unreal 4 and 5, to be honest, in terms of visuals. I mean, I would assume that Unreal 4 is what I've mostly seen. I do know that 5 has, um, uh, what the fuck is that called? Uh, frag? Not fragment. Shit. I can't remember the name of it. They have a new technology, though, that uh, can render billions of polygons on the screen. Um, but it's also uh, it's also really limited. It can't, like, render foliage. It can't... Uh, I don't think it can have, like... Well, shit, I can't think of anything. <laughs> it, it has issues, <laughs> as far as I've heard. There are... It's, it's good at rendering things like cities and large static terrains. Um, but it has limitations. I don't know what they all are. All that I remember is that somebody telling me about foliage and having an issue with that. I thought that was blurry for a second, that rock there in front of me. Also... Oh, yeah, I'm seeing popping from detail over there. Mm. Wow! You made 
to Oceanic Odyssey. You're doing a great job, Rookie Wrangler. Hmm. You'll find a potpourri of porpoises, pickles, and perches as far as the eye can see. But please don't tap the glass. You'll never really know what lies beneath the surface. Oh. I just saw something. Is that the end of the demo? Hey, buddy! Uh, you okay? You look kind of tired. Do you need a moment? <laughs> don't worry, it's fine. I don't blame you for taking a rest after all that. Heck, I could go for a nice, relaxing defragmentation myself. But before you settle down, you up for a little survey to help us improve the park? Thanks for visiting Indigo Park. Hope all your dreams came true. If you've got some time and you're up for a lark, stick around for the Rambly Review. I'm here to offer my best to each valuable guest I assist. And lots of happy feedback ensures I get to exist. Let's try it. Were you satisfied with the rides? <laughs> yes or no? Were you satisfied with your guide? I sure hope so. Do you plan to come back? Will I see you again? Did your experience convince you to tell a friend about us? Did I earn your trust? Indigo Park. There is a stark contrast to everything I know this place should be. But out of the dark, you've given a spark of sunshine to this kingdom's faithful devotee. At Indigo Park, more than my remarks are mysteries, even I don't know what we might find through the dark and I'll be your spark of sunshine to get you out of any bind that is if you want to keep going oh idea I know all of this isn't fair to you it's an awful lot to ask but here comes Rambly review part two to sell you on our task I'm here to view and assess each valuable guest as I learn and lots of happy feedback ensures you're gonna return. Right. I'm so happy you rode a ride. And saw the show. I'm so happy to be your guide. More than you know. So come back anytime. I'd love to see you again. In all my thousands of days, I've never had a friend like you. At least I hope I do. At Indigo Park, there is a stark contrast to everything I know this place should be. Of the dark you've given a spark of sunshine to this kingdom's faithful devotee at indigo park more than my remarks are mysteries even i don't know what we might find but fight through the dark and i'll be your spark of are united again and I won't feel so left behind okay I'll let you go see you next time buddy please <laughs> that was great they learned <laughs> they learned from portal <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'm gonna have to, uh, I like the little, uh, sticker there. Post it. I'm gonna have to re-listen to that song again. That's a, that's a good song. That's just, uh, <laughs> that was as fun as, uh, the cake songs at the end of Portal were. Yeah, I, uh, I saw that laughing. I was at 150,000 this morning. Um, maybe I'll back it. <laughs> I certainly had fun with the game. I don't usually go for uh, horror games, but because uh, they don't like scare me too much. But <laughs> this was this was a fun experience, and uh, I definitely would be interested in playing more of this. Um. <laughs> the song is a little bit out of character. What for Rambly? I didn't feel that it was out of too out of character for him. <laughs> Uh, 
I just hope that uh, with the Kickstarter, they actually do make the part two of the game. <laughs> it, would, it would be all too easy to uh, get the money and then get lazy and not finish the game. Um, but, uh, I mean, uh, what am I trying to think of here? You hold on one moment. I gotta turn on my. My uh, it got so dark outside that my camera could no longer track me, and that's why I was uh, all over the place there. It's getting stuck. What are you doing, camera? There we go. Um, yeah. Uh, what was it? Uh, Charlie the Unicorn. <laughs> that raised a shit ton of money on Kickstarter, and uh, then the guy took years to release the uh the final video for it yeah i saw some people with a rambly avatar in vr chat some of my friends posted some screenshots of that they were walking around with it i haven't uh i haven't played vr chat for the last uh two weeks or three weeks <laughs> so i haven't gotten it uh yet myself but uh I'll probably play a uh, VR chat next uh, next weekend. My friends are having a a meetup, and uh, I haven't been in the, in that for a while. I've been busy working on my game, um, trying to get updates out for that for my Patreon. But this was uh this was good. Let me see what the screen says here. Indigo Part is a fashion project. We're going for a little over a year now. Story in the world. We're going to create friendly and friends are very special to us. Chapter 2, supporting. Yeah, but... I don't know if I can support them. They killed off the bird. <laughs> I like the bird so much. Why would they murder her? But, um... Yeah, speaking of the bird. So... Bird was murdered. Uh... And we didn't see the character that was cloaked in red. The thing that I'm wondering is if the character that was cloaked in red, um, if that's the skunk. Um, the thing is, the character cloaked in red, for some reason, they strike me as female and the skunk strikes me as male. So maybe it's not the skunk. Ah. Uh, and it seems like they want to maintain the mystery of who it is. It's clearly not Lloyd. Um, it's probably not Rambly. I mean, Rambly probably doesn't exist inside the computer and outside of the computer. Um, so, I don't know who that character is supposed to be. I don't think they've shown them yet. Um... Maybe, uh, maybe they have multiples of the animatronics. <laughs> maybe the bird isn't technically dead. I mean, that, that one died. And, and also that, that was flesh and blood. So what was up with that? I mean, that's clearly not an animatronic. So I don't know. Uh... Yeah, I don't... Rambly evil in the real world? Yeah, I don't, uh... I thought I saw somebody post something that the devs said that they wouldn't, uh... make Rambly evil because he's... That's... Would be... Um... Clichéd. I mean, that's what everybody would expect, right? <laughs> Rambly turns evil. <laughs> Because he's an AI. So I don't think that's the direction they're going to go with, with him. Which I'm fine with. <laughs> I'm, I'd rather be surprised <laughs> than have the obvious thing happen. Uh, one of the new mascots. Putting the guys in costumes out of business. Um, that's... Hmm. 
trying to think. So yeah, there there was that thing about the costume. Um, he, uh, I I I found that piece of a rambly costume, right? So there could be like a rambly costume, and and maybe the bird that attacked me isn't wasn't actually one of the animatronics. I mean, maybe that was a park worker in in a suit or something, and they were pissed off about losing their jobs. <laughs> uh, maybe, maybe the video game that we played with the bird was suggesting that, like, because cause it doesn't make any sense for like an animatronic to be affected by like a, a gas or a potion or whatever, right? Um. And I, at first, thought, okay, that's just like a, um, what is it? Uh, I'm trying to think of the word here. It, it, it was, I was thinking it was like a, like a stand-in for a virus. Like, it's a potion, but it's not really a potion. It's, it's a potion in the video game, but in the real world, it's a virus. And the virus infected the animatronics. But clearly... The animatronics are living things. So if they're living things, they would be affected by like an actual potion or gas or something like that. So I don't know. Maybe maybe the people in the costume maybe it's people in the costumes and the people have gone crazy because of the potion or whatever. <laughs> the gas. I don't know. Um, if you look at their eyes, they animate and slobber, so it doesn't seem like a person in a costume. Um, yeah, I don't, I mean, you could have some, like, body horror going on there. <laughs> like, uh, like that horror movie where they turn the guy into the walrus. <laughs> They stitched a per they stitched a beak onto a person and they shoved them into this costume to uh to hang out with the kids or whatever. <laughs> uh yeah, I don't know. There's a I would like to um I'd like to see like if, if it's possible to see what dropped that gear at the beginning. Um, and I guess I could go back into the game and try that again and see what uh, see if I can actually see what drops that gear. But I don't th think I'll be able to. I assume that as soon as I walk towards that door, it will trigger the gear to fall. Um, but I don't know. Um... Uh, yeah, literally just people in mascot comes. That's from chasing you. So let's let's see if I can uh, see if that gear. I'll I'll restart and I'll see if I can see if that gear uh, if 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 the bird is dropping it. Um. Check out our channel. Wait, our channel. Our channel what? Telegram channel? Oh, YouTube channel. All right. Okay. Uh, whoops. Can I go back to that? All right. Uh, main menu. So I'll, uh, I'll restart and I'll quickly go to the, uh, to that. Oh, it says right at the fucking start on Real Engine. <laughs>
I'm just gonna continue from. Hey, buddy. Oh, the song. Are you okay? You look kind of tired. I can't. Do you need a moment? I can't. Uh. Oh shit. <laughs> Ah, I don't want to delete my save game. <laughs> if I can, if I can have the song anytime I want. <laughs> it's not that important to me if I see if the gear. There's <laughs> something up in the gear. It's it's either the bird or it's a, uh, or it's the thing in red. The uh the creature in red in the red cloak. All right. <laughs> All right. <laughs> uh, what time is it? 8.44? How long have I been streaming for? I don't know. Mm. Oh, why is there no way for me to see how long I've been streaming from the mod screen? That is so dumb. Luckily, I heard my channel's gonna. Two and a half hours! Alright. Conversely, having access to the song probably doesn't matter that much. Yeah, it's probably on YouTube. <laughs> Wait, there's a pic that shows what he sees when the bird dies. What do you mean, laughing? A pick where? And how do you know that that's what Rambly sees? In one of the arts on the theme song. Oh. Interesting. Wait, a theory from... Huh? I'm confused. Are you saying this is something that somebody else drew? That they theorize what he sees? Or is this actually something from the theme song at the end of the game that I missed? Um... I'm going to raid into somebody else here in a few minutes. Um. When you say you'll show me, what do you mean laughing? Are you going to post a link or, or what? <laughs> Um, who should I raid into here? Maybe I'll raid into, uh, Kellef? <laughs> or Furfante? Mm. Oh, okay. Yeah, you look for that. I'll figure out who I'm gonna raid here. <laughs> uh, Cody is a Canadian dragon. Mm. Who do I want to raid? I guess I'll raid Kellef. He's playing Animal well. Or should I raid Alligator? <laughs> I don't know who to raid. There are too many people online right now. What the hell is Senua's Saga? Let me look at that, see what the hell he's doing. And see where Kellis is at. <laughs> um, what the hell? All right. Oh, 
I'll raid Kellef, I guess. <laughs> All right. Let's go raid Kellef. <laughs> That's okay, laughing. If you find it later, just message me on Telegram. Okay. Here we go. Uh oh shit, I need a uh uh Um 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 There we go. <laughs> there we go. <laughs> There's your read message. <laughs> All right. I'll see you guys later. It was fun. I had a lot of fun with this game, and I will uh, definitely buy it when it comes out. <laughs> or I'll back the Kickstarter. Bye-bye. <laughs>